What's up everybody and thank you for tuning in to another Pug Love Productions YouTube channel video. As always, I'm your host, Adam Z. Now, I was just recently tagged in the different, different hats tag by Super Sarah Stuff. So, I'm gonna go ahead and finally make the video. It's been a, like a week or so. It's about time for me to get on this. So, I don't know who originally started this tag. I know she mentions it in her video. So, go ahead and check that out. She has some great answers. And just check out her channel in general. It's very awesome. She's got some, uh, play, obviously, she's got some stuff. And it's pretty super. <laughs> but she's got some great vlogs, great uh, unboxings, and all that kind of stuff. So, definitely check her out when you're done here. And, yeah, I got my list. Because I would definitely forget the questions. And let's get this started. Which lunchbox or pail did you keep long ago? Um, I don't really have an answer for this one. If I can recall correctly, I might have had a plastic Hot Wheels lunchbox, lunch pail, when I was very, very young, but, um, Soon after, it just became the brown plas brown plastic, brown paper bags, and eventually it kind of turned into that little card system they gave kids where your parents would put money on the card, and you just go through and, and scan it like it's a credit card. Really awesome idea, guys, you know. Hey, just put the money in there and let your kids buy what they want in the food uh, in the cafeteria. It's a great plan. Especially if your kid ate like I used to eat. Back in high school, get like two or three meals at once. Question number two. Typewriter or computer word processor? Which do I prefer? Now, typewriters are pretty sweet. Love them. You can't get a crisp, awesome look like a typewriter can give you. But considering how stupid I am, I would definitely need the... I prefer the computer word processor because... I can't spell for crap. I'd probably mess things up nine times out of ten writing my description down for my video, for goodness sake. So, definitely would need the computer word processor for that. Okay, number three. Cooking or reheating frozen food. Name two you recommend. Mmm, that's a toughie. I know everybody's saying pizza, so I'm gonna say pizza bagel bites. Yeah, delicious, hello, and, uh, ooh, a second one. Yeah, there's a lot of good frozen foods. I mean, I, I love all foods, pretty much, so I'll go with corn dogs. I love a good corn dog, and you can get an amazing corn dog from frozen corn dogs. So why not? Frozen pizza bagel bites and corn dogs. That's those are my two answers right there But you know you got a lot of stuff you can't go wrong with as far as frozen foods, you know those little um, What are they like fake barbecue riblet sandwiches? You used to get them in school all the time Love those and every time every time I see a sale on those I'll pick one of those pack those up maybe a pack of the uh, Chicken parmesan with like the chicken patty with cheese on the inside. Mmm, very delicious. Favorite junk food I could eat forever? Ice cream. 100%. All day, every day. I love ice cream. I love sweets. So, yeah. Definitely could eat ice cream every single day of my life. Because there's so many flavors. You can never get bored. And then if you do get bored, add a little milk, blend it up, you got a milkshake. <laughs> Number five. Uh, what's your thing? Beanie or ball cap? Well, I'm going to have to go with the beanie on this one. Um, but uh, I, I don't really have a preference over ball caps versus beanies. It's really dependent on, I, I guess, Super uh, or Sarah. Sarah said it best. Uh, it, it, it's more of a situational kind of thing. If it's hot out, definitely not going to be wearing a beanie. I'm going to wear a ball cap. But if uh, I can still rock a beanie when it is warmer. Obviously, it's just hitting spring. I'm wearing a beanie right now. But again, that's situational. It's because my hair is getting a little long. I just got out of work. 
looks like crap. So, a beanie is just uh, a lot better for me because it can contain my hair. I have a very thick, gnarly set of hair, and when I let it go and get really long, it just puffs up like an afro. So I need a very heavy-duty hat to keep all that contained. So I'm definitely, definitely going to go with beanie over ball cap. But I like them both. There's a lot more cool designs in the ball cap area over beanie, but... Yeah, so... Um, yeah, now i got to tag some people. And I'm so sorry. So sorry to do this to you guys. And honestly, I didn't check out all your videos, so if you've already done this tag video, you're exempt. Don't worry about it. If you don't want to do it, don't worry about it. I'm not going to force you. I'm just tagging you guys out here, throwing some names out here. I don't. Even, there's been so many tag videos, I don't even know who's done what. Except for Sarah. She's done them all, pretty much. So, first, I'm going to tag East Coast Nerd. Very awesome channel. He does, uh, he's got a lot of collectibles. He does unboxings and reviews. Um, but yeah, I've, I've, I've been enjoying his reviews and his unboxings a lot lately. So you definitely want to check his channel out. I'm going to tag you. I'm going to also tag Insomnia Nation. Very awesome vlogs. I guess you'd call it very cool vlogs. I really like it. I think yeah, he, he collects some pops every now and then. I don't think he's really big on it, but I do, I don't know. I've been watching, I'm sorry guys, I've been watching so many videos lately. I literally come home from work at like four in the morning and then I sit down for about two hours and watch all the freaking amazing videos you guys are uploading. Cause I'm, I'm trying to, I try, I'm trying to make it to where I, I try to watch all your videos guys. Cause I really appreciate what you're doing out there. And I also try to then leave a comment after I view them. So Take some time. But Insomnia Nation, you're tagged. Check his channel out. It's very awesome. He's so close to 100 subscribers. I think he's only like three people away. Give him that 100. You know, it's awesome. It's a great milestone to hit that first triple digit number. I know I'm still a bit away away, so someday. And finally, uh, I, I, it was very hard. I wanted to, I, I wasn't sure who to pick here. So I'm gonna go with Funko Reese. Sorry, man, but I'm going to tag you in this. Again, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. None of you guys have to do it if you don't want to. But I'm suggesting to put it out there. Let us get to know you a little better. Funko Reese, you guys, you probably know him. He's one of the bigger uh, channels I'm subscribed to. And he is straight Funko. Amazing Funko collection. It's freaking ridiculous. Very knowledgeable. He's the one of the, he's definitely the man to go to if you have Funko questions or pop questions and all that, because he's just so knowledgeable and all that stuff. I always enjoy watching his videos. I love watching all your guys' videos, to be honest. You know, I can't just pick out on one person. I love you guys so much. So there you have it. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe down below. Leave a like. Share it to all your friends and social media because I will appreciate that. YouTube exclusive here, so any social media you guys blast my name out, I very much so appreciate that. And leave a comment down below. Tell me what you thought. You know, what are some of your answers for this? Did you do a tag video? I'd love to check it out. So, there you go, everybody. Thank you, and see you next time.